hi all so today in this video we are going to see about text function so text function is a very important function it is just a one function but it has many uses okay so let's write text function and see like uh, what all things are needed to use text function so once i have written the text function here you can see the documentation here it requires two arguments here the value and the format one the value is that part which uh, we will get from either the database or some local variable rule input wherever the, the value that one we or that will be there and format format is that like in what format do we want to represent the value so it doesn't changes anything within the value it just changes the appearance of the value text function how something will appear okay for example before text function let's see the now function okay so if you see the now function how does it represent the data okay so it represent the date and time with time zone okay but in the ui you might experience that or you might have a requirement that i don't want to show the data like this not like or with time zone and all so i want to change the value so you have to go for the text function so now let's see how text function will change this now function into something else okay so just before the now i will write text okay and now this has become our value and now whatever the format that i want to give i will give it here and the format you have to give inside the quotes now a date consists of what it it has like day month and year right if you want to have the time as well so you can keep the time as well and then am and pm as well let's go with date first day first so if i for day you have to write here d so if i have just written here d let's see like how does it change okay if i just written d nothing else for the d part i have just written the d1 now you can see that if i write just d it has changed to 5 what if i write 2 d's then how does it behave so let's see if i have written the two uh, d two times so it uh, it will give us what it will give something as 0 5 or what huh see it has given something as 0 5 if i write three times then so it will return something as fifth now it will return something as fifth or it has written right so something like this we can say now similarly for the month we can write mm and for the year we can write something as yyy so let's see like how does how our date will now return okay so it has now returned like this 0 to 2 0 2 3 so fifth is fine but 0 2 is not fine so let's try to give one more m here okay and now let's try to test it so once i have clicked on test rule so let's see once if i given 3m so what it has returned so now it has written something as 5th feb 2023 so now it looks like much better and easy to understand as well so now let's for the time what we will write here is hour hour and then we will give minute minute as well so if you want to represent that time you have to give it like this so for hour we i have just written here h and for the minute and to show it a uh, like uh, within time i have given a semicolon as well and now it is showing like this and if you want the ampm as well so if you want in capital letter so you can give the ampm as well here in capital letter so it will show here in capital letter only so now you can see here our date and time format something like this it is appearing okay so something like this so not only the date and time you can format any number uh, uh, as well it is there that also you can format it so let's format some number as well so for that purpose what i have taken here is in my database table uh, in my database table i have a table called grid data in that i have taken two values amount is there and date is there okay and the same thing we want to show that on a grid okay and we will try to format the amount as well and we'll format the date as well in the grid field for that okay so this is the interface that i have taken for the grid field okay so let's uh, see uh, let's do a card layout here and here what we will do here is so here what we will do here is let's take the grid read only grid here okay 
and now we want to show our data here so first of all i need to get that data uh, to show in my grid so for that purpose what i will do here is i will create an expression rule for that okay get grid data now let me just create the expression rule for that so now you can see here this expression rule is now here so let's create a query entity for that now let me write the query one okay okay not the query directly query entity i will write it here okay and what is the entity name that i want to give so i have already created a entity name for this and this is nothing but ys grid data data store entity something like this now let me write the query one and here i will give the query and in the query if i want to just show the data i will just give only paging info is more than enough and let me just write minus one so that we get all the data okay so now if i test it so i will get all the data so now you can see here currently two items were there so two items that we have got let's save our changes and what we will do here we will call this expression rule in our interface so whenever like we have to represent the data somewhere directly don't try to call within uh, the grid one only try to store that in a local variable so that uh, it can be used if you want like it can be used later on as well for different purpose as well you don't have to again and again two times you don't need to call that rule one time it is called and that's it you can use multiple number of times now in the data part see here in the data we have got the read only two date uh, time are there so now we can i can just call my local variable here okay now let's do our column one so for the column to configure let's give the grid column and the label will be uh, let's give id fine and for the value so to give the value for the read only grid we have to write fv bang then just write the row and here you will see all the values in the in the column only in that particular row only all the value will populate so even if you are not sure like which value should i pick here you don't have to go again and look in the database value or the cdt here only it will show. see here here only it is showing date amount id if you want the id just copy the id and paste it here it will be done now let's we have to create two more grid columns for that purpose and second will be the amount and in here in place of this one what we will do here is we will just write amount here and similarly for this as well we have to write something as date and here I will just write date that's it so all the three values are now settled here okay now comes uh, the okay data something like this i have written now comes like our use of text function like how can i use text function to show this data to the user in whatever the format they want to view okay so we have learned about the date function so let's configure our date once so this is the date and this is here we will write our text function for the date one okay now this is the value of the date we have already got from our database now if we want to change the date so we can do it so let's do with dd mm yyy okay so you can go with one more m i guess because it is showing just zero to it won't have much meaning okay so 12 feb or if you want to go with one more d you can obviously go with that okay and if you want to show the date and time as well so that as well we can show but it is just a date not having date and time so i'm just skipping the date and time part okay like fairly easy one now for the amount what happens like for example in india we used to follow our system in which we after three uh, after three numbers we give a comma and then after two and two okay so like this we have what if we want to represent the amount like this so for that for part as well let's do it so let's give the text function here and now let's give the course here now the question is like if I want to show my amount or number in that format what should I use here so for that purpose hash is used 
okay so just give the hash like this so like this it will get used here currently like i've just written one hash doesn't matter okay so for first of all three hashes i've written this three not three but three hashes are there and after that we used to give comma right so after three hash we used to give comma let's see i haven't given any other hash how does it represent see here yeah. 45000 it is able to understand because after three it is saying that after three number just give a comma and whatever it's at the front just write it here so 584 again we need two more hash so that this after 84 as well we can give a comma something like this so let's do it like this hash and again suppose one more like this i have given so that it doesn't skip the value ah, no it is much better so now you can see like, something like this so make sure like the number that you are trying currently you can see here uh, i have a total of six no digits here so i i have done for seven digits okay so if the number exceed then it will break okay if i give more and more number and it doesn't fall under the seven digits then it might not work so the number of digits you have to manage and you have to give that many hash for that as well okay and in india what we used to do is we have a rupee symbol as well but here like in appian by default rupee symbol is not there so what you can do here is you can just copy the rupee symbol from google okay and any symbol as well if you want you can paste it here right so now it looks much better like an actual uh, like this if you want to give after like before number i want a dot and then like this as well currently if any no not any number is there but like zero zero it is given there okay so you can represent that as well if you don't want you can obviously like you can keep it as it is okay so that was a very brief intro about the text functions okay so if you want like more more examples are get the, given in the documentation as well so you can go once and check that as well out okay so that's all for now thank you